On this episode of Modern Groove Stair, we are taking this Accord and using a can of spray paint and taking it from looking like this to this. Are you ready to hear about the latest and greatest in spray bomb technology? Well, buckle up because Rust-Oleum makes a can of spray paint that sprays in a 10 inch wide fan of paint. My father-in-law, Jack, was like, dude, you need to paint a car. And I did for less than $50 and the results speak for themselves. If you need to paint anything and you like spray bombing things, this is a video for you. And tell you what, you are getting an expert spray bomber to teach you about this stuff. So why should you trust me on painting something with a can of spray paint? Well, I've been spray painting things since I was a little kid. I was spray painting model airplanes and cars. And eventually when I was in third grade, my mom's van bumper was rusty on her 91 Dodge van. So in third grade, I took that thing, sanded it down, repainted it for her. And then I found an old bike in a barn and I pulled that out and I painted it with three coats of candy apple red that I sanded in between. And then I actually made a stencil for the paintwork on the front. And then I did a chopper from the 70s. And then eventually I moved up to cars. When I was 14, I started doing all the body work on my 1965 GTO. And I had fiberglass resin and shredded fiberglass. And I had to rebuild some of the fender arches out of chicken wire. And uh, there's my trunk full of Bondo and all the nasty, terrible things that I was working with. But by the time I got to drive it in high school, it was actually looking pretty good. And in that time, when I was 14 and 15, my aunt was like, hey, will you fix my car? I got a big dent in it. And then I had a couple Mustangs for the parades in high school. I spray bombed those, painted a sailboat. I painted some scallops on my Volkswagen, painted some slime on my buddy's Caravelle, painted some flames on my Galaxy. Actually, my buddy laid out the flames. I'm not that artistic, but I painted them. And then I had a 50 Plymouth that was in really rough shape. It was pretty bad. I pulled the fenders off, pulled the doors off, did all the body work on that, painted it up. And uh, I had Jeep Wrangler and had a whole, bunch of, a whole bunch of cars that I spray bombed. And the big thing is, is that I didn't have a lot of money and I didn't spend a lot of money on these things. So the same thing goes with this Accord. I put a challenge out. I'm like, I can do this for under hundred dollars. And now that they make this Rust-Oleum that sprays it in 10 inch wide fan sprays, shoot, I wish I would have had this years ago when I was painting stuff with the old spray bomb method. So. I do have an extensive resume on spray bombing stuff, just not doing things the right way because I had nobody to show me. It's all self-taught. This is the easier way, I think. This sprays in a 10 inch wide spray and it's called Rust-Oleum Turbo Spray System. It's for large projects. Well, this is a large project and I'm gonna give it a whirl. Now there's no So this is a rundown of everything that I'm really going to start with. I'm going to try wet sanding it. I've got a 400, a 1000, a 2000, and a 3000 in hindsight. I probably would have went down on the wet dry scale to try to rough up some of this oxidization. And I'm going to try to hand sand it and wet sand it. I've got some old tape. I have this stuff left over from drywall jobs. So really all I bought was the $8 can of paint, $6 can of primer. And these were like six. So we're looking at like $30 here. This stuff I already had, I already had the respirator. So, so far about $30 in. We're gonna see how that works. So I am doing a rattle can job on this, so I'm not gonna spend a whole lot of time, but I am gonna work a little bit on preparing it, making sure that it's nice and smooth before I go to put any paint on it. Well, it looks exactly what you think a spray paint job would look like. However, I think it looks 10 times better than a regular spray paint. That fan on the, the wide spray large job Rust-Oleum can actually 
was really, really good. I started spraying a clear coat on it and I was starting to get the lines like you'd see with the normal rattle can job. So I stopped and I recoated it with the Rust-Oleum. I mean, if you're gonna paint a trailer, it's gonna sit in the sun, then why not paint a car? Eh? If I gotta repaint this thing in a year, eh, it wasn't a big deal. So this is the finished result. I literally painted this entire car with all the supplies, all the sandpaper, everything I needed for $76. Now, I didn't paint the front bumper, which you can see there's some still some oxidization here. So actually, I think what I'll do is I'll mask this off and redo that. And polishing up the headlights would definitely help a little bit too. And actually, I think if in hindsight, I just would have done the whole car and you could do the entire car. I uh, kind of ran an analysis on the cost of paint, probably need about six cans of paint and it probably cost about a hundred bucks. So I did all of this um, for $76 for my cost. And then I broke it down and thought, well, let's just figure out what it would be for the paint and the sandpaper. And you could get the same results that I did for $40 and 62 cents is what I added it up to come out to. So that's a pretty darn nice $42 paint job. Um, I think if I had about a hundred bucks and some more time to just completely do everything. I think that would be good taking the door handles out and doing everything kind of legit like that. But what's, I mean, what's the point? You're spraying it with Rust-Oleum. Obviously the matching, the, the what's it, Nighthawk Pearl, it's got kind of blue metallic in it and you're spraying a black onto it. It's not gonna match up perfectly, but it matches up a lot better than I thought it was gonna match. So looks pretty good. Black is black, am I right? <laughs> but uh, anyways, long story short, I don't think you can find a better, cheaper way to paint a car I did it in less than two days. I started this late yesterday. I have a small infant child at home and in my free time I've been going out working on it, taping it up and doing all that. And um, shoot, it's not even five o'clock here and, and I have only, you know, been kind of hanging out working on it little by little. So, yep, you can do it for less than two days and for under 50 bucks, under $50, that blows my mind. And this is the bad side of the car. That's the good side. It's just it's in the sun over there. So let me go stand over there in the sun and wrap this up. You're looking at the door side by side between the old paint and the new paint. There's a definite obvious difference between it. I think the biggest thing that you're gonna notice with uh, painting it this way is that there's gonna be a lot more orange peel because obviously you're spraying with $8 instead of $1,000 worth of paint. But uh, if you can get these results for under $50, it, it does not matter whatsoever. Um, the only uh, issue is, is that the Rust-Oleum only carries it in black and white. So if you have a white car, great, or a black car, awesome. Or if you wanna make them black or white. Um, and also the other issue is clear coat. I tried spraying, uh, spraying a clear coat on the trunk and then it started looking like I was spray bombing it again because you got that little narrow. And that was even with the automotive, like wide spray stuff, it is not wide spray. So until they make the big fan spray stuff uh, with the clear coat, and I have a hunch that you can actually take the caps from the spray and put it on the clear coat and then you might be good to go. And this is what I would do to my car for 50 bucks. Well, no, for $40, it's less than $50. It's blowing my mind right now. So anyways, 
Uh, make sure you, uh, if you want the product link to what I used on this, you can get it on Amazon. I bought it at Lowe's, but the link's right there on Amazon if you don't want to go to the store. Um, and literally, if you've got an, an afternoon's time, you can do it in an afternoon, but I'd suggest to wait the next day from wet sanding it. All I did is just wet sanded the corrosion, did this, boom, 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 you're good to go. All right, so if you like this video, make sure you hit like. If you hated the video, make sure you hit like and be sure to subscribe. And I've got a whole bunch of other stuff coming up towards you guys. I'm not gonna be putting out videos as much as I was before. The only reason is because I don't want them to be garbage. I put out like four or five videos last week that were absolute garbage. I was like, garbage, garbage, garbage. Because there's a couple things you can do on YouTube. You can go through and put a whole bunch of videos and they can be garbage and people watch them. Or you can put out some select few that are actually good. So, and this one is not even really a good video. I just did it because it's fun and I had, I thought it was a challenge. Like I think I can paint this car for under hundred bucks and I painted it for under 50. But long story short, I am um, in the works of making a 12 valve Cummins powered 12 foot John boat, which is gonna be hooked up to my 12 valve Cummins truck, hooked up to my John boat. Uh, I've got some plans with that in the work, trying to get the fire station to donate a Use fire hose for that, weird, right? And uh, some other good fun things coming your way. And uh, also I wanna take the 12 foot stack and make it a 24 foot stack, but not really sure the logistics and how I'm gonna make that work. But those are my plans to take my time and make actual good videos instead of garbage stuff. So if you don't think you see anything for a while, it's not that I'm not doing anything, it's I'm planning something better instead of just pumping out garbage videos. And I'm getting a little bored with like following a car around with the camera. I mean, it's cool, but it's, it's just a lot of work. So I wanna do stuff that's fun. This was fun. So anyways, this channel is nothing but a hobby. So make sure you stick around, make sure you check it out. If not, I'm still gonna keep making them. Catch you next time.